back to my channel. So today's DIY, I'm going to show you how to make this cool DIY seashell palette. Woo! Yeah, so I went to a craft fair the other day and some lady was selling them for like 70 bucks and I was like, no, there's no way. I'm going to recreate it and it's for going to be cheap and it's just, I'm going to do it. So anyway, I decided to recreate this and I hope you guys like the video. So if you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Lindsay. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So um, yeah, let's get into the video. You'll need for this DIY, you guys are going to need a wood plank, I got mine at Michael's, paint, a paintbrush, hot glue, some twine, and a starfish stencil. So you're going to take your board. I bought mine at Michael's. You can make your own, but I didn't have the tools to make my own, so I decided to buy one, and it wasn't expensive at all. So I took the stencil, the starfish stencil, and I printed it out, and I'm going to be putting tape on the back of the stencil because this is going to get um, it to stick on the board, and once you paint, it's not going to be flopping everywhere, so you can make that design of the starfish. So once you have your starfish in place, you're going to take your paint color. I used Martha Stewart uh, paint color, her Coastal collection, and I love all the colors there because they remind me of the beach. And you're going to take your paintbrush. Make sure you hold on your stencil. I know it's taped down, but it's a lot easier to make that design of the starfish so you're not painting over the starfish and then making the starfish like crooked once you take it off. You'll see what I mean when it's all done. Once the paint is all dry, you're going to carefully remove the stencil. And as you can see, once you remove it, you're going to have the starfish design. And that's going to be your outline for the twine later. Now, you can use twine or rope. It doesn't, whatever you prefer. But I figured that the rope gives it, you know, a thicker look to the uh, picture, so I thought it would be pretty neat to use the rope as well. So the next step, you are going to be placing the hot glue along the outer edge of the starfish, as you see that I'm doing right here. And then you're going to take that rope and then you're going to put it on top of the outer layer. And that will stick like glue and then you'll have your little outline of the starfish. Once you come to the very end, you're going to try um, measuring out, see how much you need to the last because you're going to have to like put it together. So I took my scissors and I cut that as the best as I can to measure it up. And then once I did that, I just hot glued the end together and that was it. And here is your cool starfish palette art. 